This is the Wise Campan version 3 and it has a pretty unique design and it has motion tracking and also it is now weatherproof so you can install this outside. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we'll check out the Wise Campan version 3. Design wise, this is definitely different from their previous versions. Let's get straight into the specs but before that, keep in mind, pricing. This is going to be 34 bucks plus shipping. So it is cheaper than the version 2 or even a few dollars cheaper than the static Wisecam V3. You're going to get a lot of features for the price. But also remember though that pricing can change. But at least it will start out as pretty affordable for what it is. Also thank you Wise for sending me this camera to be reviewed. The Wisecam Pan V3 is now weatherproof with an IP65 rating. It has a 360 degree pan and a 180 degree tilt. I think this is the only pan and tilt camera that I know of that has a 180 degree tilt. And I know it's still 1080p but remember the price. And it records in 20 FPS in daytime and 15 FPS at night. It has a 120 degree diagonal field of view. It has motion tracking and motor noise is also pretty quiet. It has color night vision. Now it doesn't have spotlights and also I didn't see Wise mentioning starlight. So we will find out later on how it performs at night. It also has four infrared LEDs for black and white night vision. It has local storage and it's compatible to up to 256 gigabyte microSD card. It has privacy mode which it will spin and point the lens onto its other part covering its field of view. It connects to 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. And just like with other Wise Camps, it can integrate with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and if this then that. Now I just have to mention this. In the specs, it says it has noise and echo cancellation. We will hear later on the audio quality of this camera. Inside the box, you will get this spider web sticker, a quick start guide, and the camera itself, which has a unique design. It is like two Wise Camps stacked on top of each other. We have the camera lens, two mics, infrared LED somewhere around here. On the bottom is the circular base where the camera pans. And we have the quarter 20 screw mount and the micro USB port for power. On the back, we have the speaker. So this is where the camera tilts 180 degrees and it pans on the circular base. Also, we have a rubber flap that covers the micro SD card slot and a setup button. What else is inside the box? We have an L bracket mount. We have a power adapter, mounting screws and plastic anchors, and we have a 6 foot flat micro USB cable with a 90 degree plug so it will be flat when inserted onto the camera. Time to set this up. First, insert a micro SD card on the camera. Plug in the camera and open up the Wise app. Click the plus sign on the upper left corner, add device, cameras, Wise Cam Pan V3, flashing red light, click next. Type in your Wi-Fi's password. Push the setup button, which it will generate a QR code that you need to show the camera. Name your camera. And just like other Wise cameras, to get the full feature set, you will need the Cam Plus subscription. And it should be connected and set up. Update the firmware and time to install this. You can use this indoors and put it up in a shelf or tabletop, but you can also install this in a wall using the L bracket mount. Screw it onto the wall and because of my setup with my eaves on top and I don't have a short Phillips driver, I'm not going to screw it in all the way. The mount screw holes are designed that you can slide it out of the screws. You have to screw in the camera to the bracket first. Insert the power cable to the hole in the bracket. Plug it into the camera and screw the camera to the bracket with the included quarter 20 screw. Then you can slide the bracket back in on the screws. Pull it down, then you can tighten the screws to secure it in place. Let's check the settings in the app. When you open up the Wise app, you will see your camera with the recent snapshot. Click on it to open up the live view, which loads up pretty quick. In here, you can change the live view's resolution, and you can also start two-way talk, which is full duplex. SD card to view recordings on the micro SD card that you inserted on the camera. And like the Wisecam V3 Pro, it will label person detected events. You can take a snapshot or record the live view. It also has the privacy mode where the camera will turn and tilt away covering its field of view. You can manually trigger the siren. You can toggle on and off motion tracking. You can also set time lapse just like other Wise cameras. Pan scan where the camera will go through your set waypoints and will stay there for 10 seconds before going to the next one. As to waypoints, you can add and edit by clicking the pencil icon. To add, click the plus sign then move the camera to the position that you want. Then click set 
and you can have up to four waypoints. Here in the bottom, you can slide this up to see the recent events, and these are the recordings on the cloud. Gear icon for the camera settings. We have detection settings and detection zones if you want. Event recording, and I have the Cam Plus subscription, so I have smart AI detection options. And in advanced settings, you can record 24 seven to the card or events only. Motor controls, you can dial in the speed of the camera's movement. We have night vision and other settings. Time for some testing. This is the Wisecam Fan version 3, and this has the motion tracking turned on. To be clear, the test at 10 feet. 15. 20. 25. 30. So this is the video quality of the live cam 10 version 3 at night and this is with no lights and the instrument lights are turned on and there's four of them and this one looks like at 10 feet. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Nighttime detection range is limited to only around 30 feet and the camera loses me. This also happens in color night vision mode. This is the uh, video quality of the white cam fan V3 at night and this uh, no light, 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, also, the Wisecam Pan's color night vision is the same as the Wisecam V3, so it's pretty good. But just add some lighting and you will get better video quality. Plus, it improves its detection range and doesn't lose me compared to without lights or just infrared night vision. We are going to test the uh, motion alert notification speed of the Wisecam Pan version 3. And I'm on my LTE connection and I have the Cam Plus subscription. So let's check it out. Oh, it tracked me already. See, it tracks me. Just waiting for the notification. There you go. So you'll get a notification right here. Press and hold and you'll get a snapshot preview. And when you click on it, it should get you to live view. And it loads up pretty quick. All right. So it is 3.09. And let's see what the notification cool off of the Wisecam Pen version 3. It tracks me pretty quick. There you go. So less than a minute. We're going to test the max detection distance of the Wise Campan version 3. I've set the motion sensitivity to the highest and this with AI notifications only and person notification turned on. This is 40 feet. Huh, I didn't get notified at 40 feet. Let's say this is 35. There you go. At least around 30, 35 feet. 35 feet. This is the audio quality coming out from the Wisecam Pan version 3. This is the audio quality coming out from the Wisecam Pan version 3. 
So what do you think? Overall, the camera performed well. Also, one thing that I noticed while I was testing that there's no option to set a home position or monitor position of the camera. But you can actually set the home position by just turning on motion zones. Then this is the position that the camera will go back to after motion has stopped, which is around after 10 seconds. As to video quality, well, it is 1080p, and when you combine the movements with Weiss's compression, there is motion blur and artifacts, which is bad. And the footage is unusable while the camera is moving. But when it settles down, then it is better. Motion tracking is pretty good and reliable though, and the audio that's on the recordings are better than other Weiss cams. For the price, I think this is a pretty good buy. It is cheaper than the indoor Wisecam Pan V2 and the Wisecam V3. Anyways, you will be seeing more of this camera when I compare it with other Wise cameras and other brands. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.